episode 26 of the long haul podcast it's been quite a while man let me let me let me check really quick november 25 can that be right that was the last episode damn <laughs> we haven't even published anything this year yet man how are you doing doing great man i've uh, been uh, a little busy with work a little busy but are you like working from home right now Right now, yeah, but um, I, I had to be in quarantine like some days before the, all the insane quarantine stuff happened because I went to Oma for for some time and work, mm -hmm. and that's been my life. All right, but otherwise, everything uh, everything's fine with you, right? And the family and so on. Yeah, thankfully, yeah, uh, all my all my family. Yeah, I, I know people who are infected, sadly, and two of them are. Um, Older people, you know, the, the, the ones that sucks. That, yeah. So let's just hope hopefully it's they're be stable. Fun. Yeah. Hopefully they're stable. All right. I mean, it is at, at the end, like the percentage of people that get really sick is low. So, but, uh, I mean, I, I'm sure everyone's sick of hearing about COVID at this point. I'm doing fine. I'm, you know, I'm mostly at home, just working partially. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if you can work from home, that's great. If not, Hopefully, you've got some savings and uh, you're not losing your job in the ensuing crisis. But uh, yeah, let's 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 not talk about depressive stuff, man. There's a reason. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. There's a reason why we're doing the podcast today. Hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, we should we should put the the song for the Return of the King right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll post edit that in. <laughs> All right. So Valve is alive. They did not lose the password to the Play Artifact uh, Twitter account, and they tweeted out a new post uh, called "Under Construction." Man, it's been it's been basically a year since we last heard from Valve on this. But uh, the last week they've been giving us some hints, and they've been just you know talking about stuff. And, uh, and I mean, some, some people that I talked to actually were very suspicious that something was going to come out, but, um, yeah, I was, I was personally not expecting this right now, not at all because of half like half life coming out. But, uh, how did that make you feel, man, to see that they're still alive and working on it? Well, first, first of all, uh, you're goddamn late, Valve. Second of all, uh, it, it made me pretty happy because, uh, you know, uh, it's been more than a year since uh, the hiatus uh, been started. And uh, we, all of us, been still playing and trying to keep this thing alive. And uh, to be able to see that waiting uh, gave, us, uh, gave us something back, even if not directly because... We still, we're still waiting. We still don't have uh, anything. We don't know what's going to come out. Uh, but it, it's still it's still a good feeling to know that the wait was was worth it. Yeah, and like also, if uh, if you read the post, the first thing that that they 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 say to the community is, I know I'm just going to read it. First off, we wanted to say tweets, emails, and posts. The continued interest in Artifact has been encouraging and we sincerely appreciate all the feedback. So uh, I'm really happy that they start off like this because God knows I've been, you know, all this time posting and doing stuff and uh, emailing Gaben. So <laughs> that's good. And uh, yeah, I want to I want to just jump into it, man. Let's uh, let's let's read what they what they said and what uh, what they've been also saying in other interviews and so on. They say, and this is something that I've already discussed also with some other people off, off the air, but uh, you might notice some changes soon. We are starting tests on our systems and infrastructure. This shouldn't impact live artifact, but we wanted to give you a heads up. I feel like when they say this, first of all, they're kind of right? And then what the hell? This shouldn't impact live artifact. So what, what could they be changing? They must be going to push up, uh, small updates to the infrastructure uh, in the next uh, weeks, and they'll probably will show in the Steam information tabs. And so probably they don't want people to get too excited for them doing constant changes on the thing. But uh, like, what do you think they mean when they say we are starting tests on our systems and infrastructure? It, it's kind of it's weird, and I get mixed uh, signals here, because first, you might notice some changes soon gives us a hint that whatever they're going to do is actually going to be changes in life. At least that's how I read it. But then they say this shouldn't impact life artifact. We wanted you to give a heads up. So 
I'm a bit confused because um, I never felt the game was very, very slow or the cues were really big when we were all playing the game at start. So I don't see how an infrastructure update would, I don't know, be a, a big thing right now. But still, that, I'm just speculating. The thing is, uh, I guess they're just making like a parallel server and trying stuff out. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, obviously we don't know, right? But I, I, the feeling that I get is that they're going to start pushing changes. At least the way I see it, they're going to have to implement workshop stuff and stuff that obviously changes the way that Steam interacts with the game. And uh, that I don't think they can do on separate servers. So I think we're just going to see some small things going on in the background, uh, but we're not going to be probably aware of exactly what's what's going on. And um, yeah, the thing that it shouldn't impact Live Artifact also, what that made me think was that maybe they would also mess with the tournament system, you know, because uh, I guess if you make changes to the tournament system on the, on the back door uh, from behind and that might potentially affect, <laughs> yeah, um, that might affect the way that uh, the tournament system would, would operate maybe. Yeah, I don't know. It would be interesting to, to speculate on it. I, I just wanted to bring that up quickly. It's interesting that they say that we might notice some stuff. So don't get too hyped up, basically, is what they're, they're trying to say. And, uh, and what is even more ec exciting here for me is expect more news after the launch of Half-Life -like Alex. man. Half-Life Alex is coming out tomorrow. Did you, ever, did you get your headset? No. I was changing oh. houses and with all this thing. I really wanted to, but now that I know that Artifact soon... Mm, Honestly, I think I think screw Half Life. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see what the reviews say, and then if the reviews are great, I'll try to find the. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll try to find the. Shun, shun the non-believer. Shun. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Half Life Alex is gonna be super amazing. Uh, I'm just right now. I don't know, man. Artifact is just. Uh, it just has too 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 much of a place in my heart, and now they're making me hype. So. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, certainly, I'm going to play it at some point, you know, like, just don't know when. Yeah, let me just do a, 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 a let me just do a quick, I was one of those people that thought that uh, virtual games were all rubbish, and I never saw a place for it. Maybe I'm a bit, uh, like, old school. But then I went into a friend's house, had an Oculus Rift, and I tried it. Mm -hmm with some of the virtual games that he had. Some of them are pretty poopy. The majority, uh, probably. Yeah, but, but I've tried some games that were, like, so good. And I was like, okay, so if it comes from Valve and it's Half-Life and it's, like, their baby, uh, this is probably going to be, like, super insane. But I did not buy it because uh, it's, like, 300 or $400 to get a goddamn headset. Yeah, that's the issue. But uh, I mean, from looking at the teasers and the trailers, absolutely beautiful. But in any case, for me, the exciting thing is like Half-Life comes out tomorrow, man. If they say expect more news after the launch of um, HL, then phew, we could be expecting more news this week for all we know. I mean, they've had a, a year to work on this right now. God knows how much stuff they have uh, prepared at the moment. Well, in theory, uh, they have more than one year, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know, with all the thing of devs moving to to Underlords and etc., we don't really know exactly. But uh, yeah, that, now we know a, there's a team on it. So I haven't played Underlords for so long. How is the game struggling, or is it losing player base constantly? Is it bleeding out? So I I started playing it on mobile quite a few months after most people did, um, and I had a bit of fun with it. And uh, when I was occasionally looking at the Reddit threads and so on, I felt like most people were bored of it in the sense that the meta is kind of uh, staled out. But they did push the battle pass out and they've been doing constant adjustments to the game balance and so on. So, I mean, I think the problem at the end is not their approach. It's rather that it, the, the, the style of game is a style of game that I think gets repetitive relatively fast. I, I mean, I had said this before, but I don't feel like the auto chess as it is right now in this current format, in its current iteration, is not the type of game that I believe 
will survive very, very long, but whatever. We digress. The game is fine. It has players, mostly because it's on mobile. And I believe today or tomorrow, the, the Riot version is going to come out on mobile as well. So we'll see how that affects them. But um, it's not that I care too much about that personally. <laughs> It's nice to have because you can play it on the phone, basically. I think just just to, to, to finish this topic, the, the thing I noticed the most about uh, Under Lords is uh, it's a real proof that when the developers totally listen to the community, things might not work so well. Because I remember watching some posts of people going like, J the jail mechanic is stupid. Remove the jail mechanic, blah, blah, blah. And then they remove the jail mechanic. And then the day after Jill Mechanic was moved, people were like crying on the, uh, on Reddit, please bring it back. We need Jill back because uh, yeah. now there's too many heroes, blah, blah, blah. And then they removed certain heroes from the game instead of jailing them. And then they, they were like, no, do not remove the heroes, blah, blah, blah. Because uh, community gives positive feedback, negative feedback, constructive feedback. And some things are, are they need to be taken with a grain of salt. And um, I, I remember people in uh, Artifact crying a lot that uh, the, the devs didn't listen to what they were asking. And um, I, I noticed the trend that the Underlords team really listened a lot. And a lot of the things they did was because the community asked for it. And, and then stuff didn't went so well. Um, and this is just, in my opinion, a living proof that uh, the devs should listen to the community, but take stuff with a grain of salt and not every good idea should be implemented because it might not work with the rest. Yeah, but it's like, on the other hand, I think they are learning a lot is, is likely to reflect on how they're going to approach uh, Artifact 2.0, right? Because with with Underlords, they're communicating more, the devs are on Twitter, they're, you can go on the Discord and talk to them, etc. There's way more interaction. And I think we're going to see this this affecting artifact too as well, so so the, I think at the end it's like it's it's a it's a net positive for me and and actually this ties in quite well with the interviews. I don't know if you've seen Gabe Newell's interview uh, to IGN where he he talks very slightly about artifact, but just today or actually just yesterday I think a pre a pre uh, pre ordered magazine online magazine uh, came out with. Um, what is the name of the magazine? Let me check really quick. Edge. The May issue of Edge magazine came out for people who, who have subscriptions on pre-order. Um, and they basically have a huge section talking about Valve in general in relation to Half-Life Alex, but they dedicate pages to, uh, to the sections of, um, of CSGO, of Dota, of uh, Artifact, and so on. So we're going we're gonna to dig into that. I just wanted to quickly show or talk about this uh, this interview with uh, IGN about Half-Life Alex. Valve seems to have a really good relation to IGN. They always give IGN, you know, like previews and kind of early access and these nice interviews. And it's obviously not about Artifact, but Gabe Newell mentions twice in the video, this is a half an hour video, twice he mentions that Artifact was a, a disappointment. In his words, Artifact was a giant disappointment. But... The, the point of the matter is that he says it, this it helps them to make better decisions in the future and, you know, that they made kind of an experiment and they, they will learn from it and, and do better uh, from, from here on out. And that's, that's, at the end, it's a win for us as well. Did you, did you, did you listen to that or did you have any? No, I, I, I didn't watch it. Uh, but it, to me, it sounds like the universal law of trial and error, right? You do a mistake, you learn with it, you try something new, it doesn't work, you, you make it better and try it again. So to me, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say it was a giant disappointment. Well, for them, as in, probably as a game developer in an economic uh, and, and in an economy way, it was a, a, bit dis a big disappointment. For us, it, it was a, a cool and fun game that lacked some features from the beginning, and that was a bit abandoned after a while. So the big disappointment for us was, was the abandoning and, and not so the, the same reasons that was a disappointment for them. Yeah, in the, in, the, in, the, in the Edge magazine, they thought they had a really strong product and it was a, an interesting failure for them and a kind of a surprise because um, they, they were lost. They didn't know where the hell they went wrong and they were 
their words, doing some kind of soul searching after the failure. So it feels like they were they were at a loss exactly as to what what happened. And uh, I'm going to quote here. They say, we ran an experiment, we got a negative result, and now we need to see if we've learned anything from that. So let's try again, Gabe says. And um, that's what the Artifact team have been doing. That's what they're getting ready to release. This is his words. Based on the reaction to it, what was wrong with the product? How did we get there? They don't know. Let's fix, the, fix these things and take another run at it, basically, they say. I think we, we, we already talked about this uh, a lot of times. They know, the, they, they know the winning formula. They have the winning formula. They invented the goddamn winning formula, right? The market, yeah. the, the, the microtransactions, they're the kings of it. They invented it. They, they know how, how to make this run on Steam. So it's just a matter of how can we pick the game without starting it from scratch and, and put all the winning formula back into it. So yeah, I'm sure. just I'm just curious to see how they're going to do that now. Yeah, the big question though is the approach exactly. Is that is it, what they say is that um, the biggest source of internal arguments was as it was on the Reddit threads. What the hell went wrong? And they said he says they had like a list of fifty different things, and they considered changing twenty of those small things. Are they going to learn a lot? They don't know. And so basically the decision that they made at the end was to just do a larger reboot because if they don't do a huge, large reboot, like an overhaul, um, as the, the player base demanded, the, um, that they could not justify the existence of artifacts to, to the customers anymore. And he, he, he ends up the, the, the article saying that uh, it's obviously a lot easier to make smaller experiments than big experiences. But in this specific case, they were in a situation where they had no choice and they had to be they have to make a really big change to the game and just hope that it goes well. So it reads to me, this reads to me a little bit like if Artifact 2.0 fails, it's obviously going to be dumped. Uh, and this is a huge risk that they're taking. They, they are willing to take it because they believe in the product, but um, they don't know if it's going to work. And... Uh, Obviously, they were already believing in the product when they released 1.0. So, let's see. It's going to be big, basically. This is what we what what we can read from this. It's basically confirmation that they're working on it. They've been working on it, and it's going to be big. And we're going to learn more from from it in the coming days to weeks, hopefully. Well, one thing we know for sure, it's going to have a season pass. Hopefully, yeah. Because. It's the new trend. Every goddamn game nowadays has a season pass, and that's how the companies make some money and how the people get extra goodies without paying too much. I actually think the, the season pass, um, or, or how to put this, I, I really like the Dota Plus model where you pay a subscription to get, it, to get access to more information about the game, about the meta, about etc., cetera, etc., cetera, rather than kind of the Battle Pass ty type thing. But Dota Plus is at the end kind of a battle pass uh, type thing, right? But if I had to choose between the typical classical battle pass from whatever Fortnite, whatever game, like Underlords type battle pass or a Dota Plus subscription model, I would much, 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 much prefer the, the, the an Artifact Plus type thing, if, if you will. But uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting to, to discuss all, all these things. Have you otherwise paid attention to the, the market? And the collection prices? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Axe went from $2 to peak $7. That's like a 400% increase almost. <laughs> okay, so what that, what, what that means most likely is everyone bought the $2 ones and now the very expensive ones are left back on. Yeah, it's selling for five, almost six right now, I, it seems to me. The collection was basically stable at 30 to forty dollars, it was always going up and down, and now it's uh, around eighty-eight, so ninety dollars. So it basically tripled in price as well. Um, yeah, people are speculating, right? Like they do with basically anything that involves markets. But uh, poof! Like, listen, I'm just sitting with my collection. I'm happy. I have the full collection. That's all I need. Um, I'm not particularly looking to make Steam bucks, but um, Axe Coin. I I think people have to be careful. Like uh, it could just be that they say, "You've invested money in 1.0. We're going to give you a full shiny collection, and that's it." I mean, no one knows what's going to happen. So, 
investing a lot of money into, into X coin could be a mistake, could turn out to be a mistake at the end. Yeah, I, I was I, I was talking about this with uh, Worst Maker from our Discord channel uh, last night. Yeah. And um, he was like, he spent like $20, I think, yesterday buying cards before they started a ramp up. Uh, and I was like, okay, you're taking a risk. It's understandable that you might get some return. You might not. Um, they might even like, uh, when 2.0 comes out, a new set comes out and that's the old set and they give the old set. They don't give the old set or they'll just give you foils if you have the old set or they don't get, we don't know. So he might, you might be spending money right now to try to finish your collection or to invest in Axe coins, like you said, and try to get uh, valuable cards. Uh, and, and we don't even know if the game will, the, the, like the vanilla set will be uh, still, if you still need to buy the cards, if, the, if they're going to introduce it as a, a free set and launch like a mini expansion or a new set that you have to pay for. So we don't know yet. I, I, I'm actually missing some cards. None of them are like very playable cards. From uh, last night, I looked at my collection. And I, I miss uh, one emissary and Omni Knight to have all the playable cards. Let's say, let's say it like that. And I don't feel an urge to run and buy them because even if you have to buy the cards later on when 2.0 comes out, it's just two cards. I'm not really, yeah, worried about that. But still, I wouldn't. Me personally, I wouldn't invest right now. But that's me. Uh, and but I I've never been one of a market goblin myself. So uh, the, take it take it take it slowly. Don't don't go wasting like fifty or sixty bucks into it because you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you know don't don't go all in on this. Personally, is my is my recommendation. But um, yeah, I think this is really exciting. And you know we've been waiting a really long time for this to happen, so so it's it's time to slowly get the hype going, and um, and yeah, you know all this all the dev support, all the waiting is finally gonna gonna pay off. I've also noticed that other uh, other content producers are, are are coming back. The Artificers Guild already put a video out. I I mean I don't know how much of it was already pre prepared, but uh, it's good to know that. Uh, other other media outlets are are still paying attention, and uh, yeah, now we're, we're going to see what what's going to happen. Um, me personally, I just wanted to, to to let people know I I organized a few months back when the game's anniversary happened. I organized a tournament, and uh, now that this came out, I decided I'm going to make a second inception of it. So the Artifact Championship Series. Um, his uh, is going to happen again. And this time around, I'm making some open qualifiers for it. There was one yesterday already, and there's going to be another one in a few hours, basically. And um, yeah, just pay attention to Reddit, guys. There's going to be some stuff going on there. Otherwise, just join our Discord. You'll find the links down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe to this, man. We're going we're gonna to keep pumping out content as the hype builds up. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah, guys, thanks for listening. Subscribe, check us out on YouTube if you're itching to play some artifacts. And uh, yeah, we'll see we'll f if we'll be back next week. We'll, we'll be coming back as content comes out. So cheers, dudes. Stay cool, stay home, stay well. Wash your hands. <laughs>